Shalom, praise the Lord. Welcome to a brief Bible reflections as we continue meditating upon the word of God. We thank God for his grace and love upon our lives. Today, we continue reading from the book of Exodus chapter 23 and we look at verse number 24 and 25. The Bible says, You must not worship the gods of these nations or serve them in any way or imitate their evil practices. Instead, you must utterly destroy them and smash their sacred pillars. You must serve only the Lord your God. If you do, I will bless you with food and water, and I will protect you from illness. Praise the Lord. God promising his presence to his people. Remember right from verse number 20, he's even telling them, See, I'm sending an angel who will go before you, who will ensure that you have landed in the land that I've prepared for you. In verse number 23, we saw that these people are going to encounter or they're coming across several nations. And these are the Amorites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Canaanites, as we mentioned. So God in verse number 24, he's cautioning them of the following, that they must not worship their gods, the gods of these nations. Two, they must not serve them in any way. And number three, they should not imitate them in their evil practices. Instead, they must destroy these sacred pillars. Praise the Lord. God is reminding us that as he promises to go with us, to walk with us, to lead us, even when we come across nations, and nations here may represent many things that we encounter in our lives, nothing should pull us away from the true worship. Nothing should pull us away from true service. We must worship only our God, our creator, the true God, maker of heaven and earth. And this is the only God that we are supposed to serve. We should not serve any other God. This year, because we are still in the first month of the year, 2023, God is placing us in different positions God is allowing us to encounter many kinds of people, all sorts of people, but nothing should pull you away from the true worship of God, from the true service of God, or nothing should pull you into imitating anything that is against the plan of God. In verse number 25, God promises them this, that you must serve only the Lord your God. If you do so, I will bless you. With what? food and water. And number two, I will protect you from illness. Praise the Lord. This is God speaking to his people and he's cautioning them that you must be alert. You must be careful. You must know who you are. You must know you are God. You must know who you ought to serve. If you do, I will bless you with the food. Food here represents the many needs we may have in our lives. Yes, there is food to eat, to satisfy our lives. But there are many other things that we desire in this work. And God is telling us, if you are able to keep off from that idol worship, from serving those gods, from imitating those nations in their evil practices, if you worship and serve only the true God, who will bless you, he will bless you with food, and water. And this God will also protect you from illness. This is our portion today, that as we endeavor to serve, to worship, to follow this true God, he will bless us with food. We all need food. And we have said that food may represent so many things that we desire in this life. God is promising that if we do so, he will bless us with food and water. Water means everything again. Water represents many, many things that we desire that God may quench in our lives. And so he says he will bless us with food and water. And the other thing he says is that he will protect us from illness. Protection, protection. Illness here may not just mean sickness, the illness that he's mentioning here is anything that may come your way 
to harm you. Anything that you may encounter ready to destroy your life. God promises to protect you. But what is our role? Our role is to ensure that wherever God has placed us, be it among the Amorites, the Canaanites, be it among the Perizzites, wherever, we should not turn from him. We should not worship their gods. We must remain as true worshippers. We serve God in truth. We serve him in total surrender and he will bless us with food and water and protect us from illness. God bless you. God keep you. Have a lovely time. Shalom.